As I said before, Dixie has done a lot of things for you, like creating all these goose messages in the background. And I want to show you where you can actually see them. So in your project tree, there's a section called 6150 Goose Communication. And if you double click on that, you will see basically uh, source signals and destination nodes. This is the same way how it used to be in Dixie 4, where you can manually assign source signals to destination signals by using goose messages. In our case, Dixie has done it for us. And in here you see the goose connection, the goose application. And if you open up this tree, that you, there you see that the position of our ground routes is submitted to our first relay to this logical node. This is the goose connection that has been made. Uh, there is another place where you can see what Dixie has done in the background. If you go into your first relay, that's where we have worked and, and grabbed information from the second relay. If you go to information routing, you see something like external signals. So in our first relay, which is called the SIP1 relay, we see external signals from SIP2, and there's a position that we use in our CFC. So all of this has been done in the background. This used to be manually work with CPROTEC4 uh, in the past. So this is a really good way to automate without knowing the communications. You don't have to be a 6150 specialist anymore to do automation interlocks for a smart substation.